Colin Kaepernick never said America is a terrible country. He, what he said is that he has critiques of America. And we can laugh, but it doesn't change the fact that he never said that. So I just want us to be... Uh, but it be does honest. seem like a I very think generous... National anthem, it sounds like a... You're, you're, I got you, Ben. He, it sounds like a generous explanation. He said this flag doesn't represent what it's supposed to. Uh, he outlined yeah. the condition of going on with policing in black communities. He says, I'm not going right, to stand but, uh, until it does. Fair and that fair seems point. negative. It, it, it seems critical. And what I'm saying is oftentimes when black people resist or critique America, a certain label gets put on us. It doesn't get put on other people. When, Amer when Trump says, I want to make America great again, he doesn't get accused of, of saying he hates America. His particular way of critiquing America is to sit down. That's his particular form of resistance. And I think that it is a principled one. And I think it's not offending anyone. And yes, um, for some people, the national anthem is a way of saying we're getting better, we're trying. But oftentimes for African-American people, that hasn't been the case. Since the history of this song, the song itself, the land of the free, the home of the brave, is created in the midst of slavery, right? I mean, there's, off, there's a long tradition of black people resisting and some yet, of the symbols that white people uh, believe are symbols Chris, of freedom. He has a couple of problems right now, this young man. One is a legitimate one, which is he chose now to come forward when there were things much closer to home in terms of what he represents as a professional. Where well, he why was, is that closer to home? I don't understand. Because he is because playing for the, the NFL. He's, but he's uh, also a black person. Profile. No, no, I know. No, no, I'm but, no but what I'm, this is my point, Chris. Again, white people... So were, the, so were the people who were doing lots of abusive things in that league that he could have spoke out about and he didn't. I, I, I agree with you, but again, to decide what's closer to home to him is often another example of white people defining for black people what's most no, important. Not, okay, let, me, let, me, let me finish the point. Our... For many black people, you are also threatened by state violence. Before he puts on his pads, before he puts on his uniform, he has brothers, cousins, and himself. He is also a threat to many people. So for him, that might be closer to home than what happens in the NFL, although that is a critical issue. He also said America has corrected its, wrong, its wrongs. To the extent that he's right, and I don't think he's entirely right, but to the extent that America has corrected its wrongs, it has done so because people have resisted, because people have sat down, because people like Muhammad Ali, who we just celebrated two months ago for doing these very same things, although back then we called him anti-American, because of people like that, that's how America corrects its wrongs, by resistance. We thought American Luther King was anti-American. We thought Malcolm X was anti-American. We've got a whole bunch of folk anti-American until they die. So I'm here to celebrate Colin Kaepernick now.